that surprise in court today. President Trump's former national security advisor, Michael Flynn, arriving for sentencing after pleading guilty to lying, expecting there was a very good chance that he would walk out with no prison time. Instead, facing a furious judge who said Flynn had sold his country out. The sentencing was then delayed. ABC's Chief Justice Correspondent Pierre Thomas with the reason why. Michael Flynn walking into court today, head held high. Scattered protesters, but also supporters cheering him on. Words of encouragement from President Trump. Good luck today in court, he tweeted. In court, Flynn was smiling, but Judge Emmett Sullivan was not. He tore into the former general for lying to the FBI about his contacts with the Russian ambassador and for illegally operating as an unregistered agent for the Turkish government. Pointing to the American flag, the judge said Flynn's secret work undermines everything this flag over here stands for, adding, arguably, you sold your country out. The judge said he felt disgust and disdain. It's been a head-spinning turnaround for the president's first national security advisor, Michael Flynn, who once said, Hillary Clinton should be behind bars. Yes, that's right. Lock her up. But facing a possible prison term himself, Flynn took a deal with special counsel Robert Mueller, spending 19 sessions talking to investigators. In exchange, Mueller recommended Flynn do no time. At the 11th hour, Flynn's attorneys implied the FBI tricked him. But today in court, he admitted he knew he was committing a crime when he lied to federal agents. The judge then making it clear he was seriously considering sending Flynn to prison, saying, I cannot assure you if you proceed today that you will not receive a sentence of incarceration. He told Flynn and his team to leave the courtroom to consider requesting a delay in the sentencing. They did, and when they returned, Flynn's mood had changed. His smile gone, he rested his chin on his knuckles as his lawyers asked the judge to postpone sentencing until Flynn had finished cooperating with the special counsel. And then Flynn walked out, supporters and critics shouting at the top of their lungs. Chaotic scene outside that courthouse, and Pierre, I know our reporting team uh, saw that Michael Flynn was clearly frustrated with how this played out today. We now know that Michael Flynn's sentencing has been pushed back to at least March. David, that may be the next time we see him in court. Until then, the judge expects Flynn to continue cooperating with the special counsel. Today, Flynn admitted he did not lie because of what the FBI did. But why those officials are not backing away from their claim that he was ambushed? David? Pierre Thomas in Washington tonight. Pierre, thank you. Hi everyone, George Stephanopoulos here. Thanks for checking out the ABC News YouTube channel. If you'd like to get more videos, show highlights, and watch live event coverage, click on the right over here to subscribe to our channel. And don't forget to download the ABC News app for breaking news alerts. Thanks for watching.